All right, Smokey1979 here. Um, everybody liked the Cobalt Lawnmower video, or a lot of people did, and it got a lot of attention, so I, I, I'm doing another one here um, on the Weed Eater. I actually got this the end of last summer um, from Lowe's, from my local Lowe's, and there was a pallet of these, a pallet of um, trimmers, uh, like... Um, hedge trimmers and blowers and they were marked fifty dollars and i'm like that's gotta be a mistake so i went over and looked at it and was reading it and some for some reason they didn't have batteries um every box had been opened and retaped but no batteries and uh said no warranty and i'm like well it's cobalt you know i mean shoot something wrong something if something's wrong with it they'll take it back but i doubt it so i jumped on it and i bought it um, this was the end of last summer, and I used it a couple times in last summer, and you can see I've used it actually yesterday. Um, I love it. Let me tell you, it's great. It uses the same battery that my mower uses, so that wasn't a big deal when I bought it. It came, it came with a, um, it came with a brand new charger, just not the battery. Um, and I'm doing this on the phone, so bear with me. Um. It's got two speed settings right here for, for low or high to use your power. Your, your handle is pretty much fully adjustable, really easy. Um, it came fully assembled except for right here. Uh, now let me think. Yeah, I believe this right here, right here. This indents in and it'll pop apart. So it came in half. Uh, the guard wasn't on it. Um, it came with an extra cable that runs up in here. Did come with an extra one. Uh, right now, I only have one string out of it, but it is dual string fed. Um, and it did come with string in it. Uh, trying to think before I show you. It was very easy to put together. I didn't read the instructions really, nothing. Same battery, like I said, brand new charger. Um, I got a heck of a deal at 50 bucks. I'm probably gonna end up buying another battery later in the future so I can have one for a more and this and be able to use them. Uh, lifespan, battery power wise, let me tell you, I honestly think if I was a landscaper, I probably could use this as a landscaper even. Um, if you look up here, this is the whole my whole front up at the road. I have weedy to that whole stretch with this, about a three foot to four foot section maybe of probably eight inch thick grass, something very similar to that right there. Um, and, it, and it was good to go maybe half the power, turn around and weedy to around my whole house, behind my house. Um, the battery lasted a long time. I mean, it, I haven't killed it yet. Um, and I'm thinking if you're just doing normal like subdivision yards, you can you can use this thing probably for a long time um and if you had an extra battery be able to swap them out really easy power wise battery life's great power wise honestly i think this thing is just as strong as my gas powered straight shaft that i have um i don't know if you could put a blade on this or not i don't know um but i didn't get it really for that uh if you've owned weed eaters and chainsaws they're worse than lawnmowers every time you turn around the little uh, hoses are dry rotten breaking you're having to fix them primer bubbles are uh cracking so then they're leaking fuel and they won't run right um if they're most of them are two stroke there is some four strokes but if there's two strokes then you're mis mixing oil and fuel all the time you know it's just a pain i've been using electric weed eater for a few years now but i was using a ryobi 40 volt which was hey, hey bud Aiden. sir that's nice more, okay well you tell mama and we'll get some more then all right Stay out of the way while I'm doing this. Is you don't sit on that, you're gonna break it. Come on. All right. I don't do it. No. Um, it was a great little weed eater. All right, I'm doing a video right now, okay? And we'll do that later. What are you talking about? I'm on my video, my phone, okay? Uh, sorry. Um, 
it was a great little weed eater but 40 volts okay for just doing your around average um grass around flower beds or something you know light stuff but anything heavy it, it really wasn't good and it died pretty quick too when i tried to do thick stuff uh, if i remember right it only has one string coming out of it so this one with with two coming out the heads a lot greater um this thing's got kick though i'm gonna try to show it to you with my hand here uh, i've got my gopro actually charging right now so so uh, hopefully i can get to using it and this phone has more capacity and start uploading some some videos especially a couple that i already have but i really think y'all like this one um um not very noisy that's on two that's one you know it's a lot quieter and i mean for just normal stuff it, it works great for just normal stuff now do you want something that's a little more thicker <clears throat> i can't cut my wife's flowers down there's some weeds up in here so i don't know how well you can see this the sun is really shining behind me on this screen but hopefully you can see how I mean, this is just one blade or one screen come out the head and once i get the other one it will do a lot better I feel like I have something like thicker. Let's do this up here. So, you see all this stuff here. It's a pretty good bit there. Let's see, one, one string. I'm doing this one handed, by the way. I mean, it's. Get this in the wheel and film, but this, this, this. this stuff, you know, this stuff's kind of kind of wiry here. But I think y'all get my point. It's it's very strong, very good. Um, battery lasts a great amount of time. Uh, I've cut some pretty thick stuff with it. It's cut really good, um, and it's cobalt, so you know it's got it's backed by a good warranty. I love being able to switch the batteries out between you know the different tools. Uh, I've said if I need to get a chainsaw in the future, probably gonna get a, get the electric one to go with it. Uh, if it's as good as these, it's well worth the money. Um, I said it in my co my uh, lawnmower video. You know, yes, the tools are expensive, but, and I know how to work on stuff, but if you're like me, it gets old. You get tired of it. You're winterizing stuff. You're um, changing out parts all the time when the hoses break and everything else, and you just get tired of working on it all the time. Uh, I take the battery out. I leave it in my um charger you know of course not on but i just leave it in my charger all winter when it got warm enough and i had to start cutting i just pulled it out throwed it in here started cutting you know a lot of stuff if you've left fuel in it it's done gummed up the carburetors lines are rotten primer bubbles are rotten so you're working on just to get your summer started you know um and if you don't work on your own stuff you're taking it to a lawnmower shop and they're charging you you know 60 70 bucks an hour or whatever they're almost like car dealerships anymore on top of the parts they mark parts up I, I know it for a fact uh my, my father's worked on lawnmowers for many many years and wor and and worked at some shops you know and helped them out and this and that and i've seen the labor rates and and he's told me about how they mark parts up and, and they don't even really care it's it's kind of like a dealership they don't shop around for you they just buy whatever they buy from all the time you know and usually it's factory parts so you turn around and all you need is a four dollar primer bubble and a little piece of four dollar hose put on it you know and that job ends up costing you 30 bucks for it's over with you know or 40 bucks you know and that might seem a lot but that adds up over time um so i think it's worth it and just for my time and hassle you know of not having to sit out here and work on something it's it's worth it to me i'm tired of pulling on cords and stuff trying to get things cranked and work on them adjusting carburetors i'm tired of it you know and, and i'm all for gas engines you know i'm um 
I at one time didn't think you couldn't beat them, but the technology has come along that this stuff works so great. So um, I'm gonna show you this last little cut because that's a, some kind of thick stuff there and show you how easy it just kind of that's gonna wrap up this video guys if you got any questions about it uh the product or anything um feel free to hit me up if you notice in my other pat, uh, post I, I try to answer as quick and as often as possible i'll talk to y'all later thanks for watching